Hey everybody, it's Will from Will Downs Photography, and in this quick tutorial, we're going to take a look on how to inject your Insta360 videos so they will display correctly on YouTube and Facebook. photography in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to post a 360 video onto social media such as Facebook YouTube just about all of them we're going to process our image through insta 360 studio we're going to inject that metadata and then we're going to upload into YouTube and I'm going to show you a trick that you really have to do before you make the video public Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our video and we're gonna import it into the Insta360 Studio. You can either right click on it or actually bring up the studio and then import. As you can see, this is a video of the Yosemite Valley in California at the Yosemite National Park. It is one of the most magnificent places I have been to in a long time. And make sure our stitching was correct in the 360 studio. Um, right up here, you can either select normal, venture case, dive case. I had no case on, so I just go normal. And I'm not going to be using the audio, so there is no vocal enhancement or background no noise reduction. And what I'm going to do is trim the video where I want, take out anything you don't want. Uh, this video, video is only about a minute long, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Now, next we need to determine how we want our video to be viewed. If you go up here, we can change our video to a tiny planet, which some people like. I'm not a big fan of them, although they are kind of cool. Um, look a lot better in photos than they do videos. We can do a crystal ball, which is basically a inverted tiny planet. Um, again, I prefer these in photos and not too much in videos. Your default, which is the fish eye. It adds a little bit of curvature to it. It's your typical eight millimeter fish eye. Actually, I think this one's four millimeter. So this is flat. This is how YouTube would view your video if you failed to inject the metadata. Basically takes your entire 360 image and flattens it out. Um, you can see here by the curve in the log, it just flattened everything out. Still a beautiful picture. Would have made a great picture actually. But it's not exactly what we're going for. So what I usually use is natural view. It tends to give me my... the best results. So I'm going to do one quick look around, make sure the stitching is correct, which I don't even really remember where the side was on this, so it must be pretty good. And as you can tell, the Insta360 was on the selfie stick with the stand. There's a stand right there. The selfie stick will, I guess for lack of a better term, dissolve away so it can't be seen, which is kind of nice. Um, so what I want to do is I want to actually use the logo right over that just so my logo is in the video somewhere. That's going to be right there. So the next thing we need to do is we need to export our video. Make sure you change your encoding format to the country you're in. Um, I typically use H.264 in the United States. I do have it removed grain. I have seen some instances, especially in the evening and the night, more nighttime video where that high ISO is used and it can get look kind of grainy. And this option actually does a pretty good job. Change your video and file name to whatever you want. Make sure your path, you know where it's going to go. Nothing like losing a video in your computer and hit OK. I've already exported this just to speed up this process a little bit. So we're going to go right into that. So the, here's my video right here. I called it 360 Yosemite. 
and we need to inject it using the metadata app. Again, this is a free video, free program. It was recommended by YouTube. So once you open the program, you hit uh, open. Ironically, it's called open. You select your video. It automatically and does a really good job at determining what your video should be. Then all you have to do is hit inject metadata. Save it to the same location. And you're gonna come up with a new video it's going to be the original title, and but afterwards it's going to say injected. And that's all that program does. So this video is now ready to be uploaded into Facebook and YouTube. And I'm going to show you a little trick to make it a little easier on yourself. It does take some time for Facebook and YouTube to recognize it as a 360 video. So this is my video channel and we are ready to upload our injected 360 video. If you do not inject a 360 video, it will play as flat, which is not what we want. We need to make sure we can choose the corrected one. Here's the original 360 Yosemite. Here's 360 Yosemite that's been injected. So why that goes, I'm not going to worry about description and everything. If you don't know how to post to YouTube, we'll do a different video on that. Here is a trick that most people don't know about. It takes YouTube, Facebook, it can take up to 24 hours for it to recognize it as a 360 video. If you upload and post directly, you know, post it as soon as it's uploaded, the video will appear flat to your viewers. So one thing you definitely need to do, first thing, right click on the video link, copy. Jump over here to visibility. And when you publish, you want it to do it as private. So with that video link that you copied, it's also right here. It's on every page, I believe. What we're gonna do is go into that occasionally, wait about an hour at least. And we're going to see how our video looks. If it's a 360 video, is it a flat video? If it's flat, wait some more. If it's a 360 video, go back into your videos in YouTube Studio and go ahead and post it or schedule it. But you need to wait for YouTube to finish processing your metadata. And that can take up to 24 hours. I have gone on to YouTube several times looking at 360 videos. I do love them. And about half of them, if I get it soon after it's been posted, are still flat. So that's about it. That's how you inject a 360 video. So Facebook, YouTube, all the social media outlets can view it correctly key is wait don't post right away save it unlisted private do not save it as a draft it will not process as a draft i hope you found this video helpful and and that's about it that's how easy it is to inject your metadata of your 360 videos post them onto facebook post, post them onto youtube really simple if you have an idea or another video you'd like to see Go ahead and leave a comment below. That's where this video came from. It was a comment off another video of mine to where the viewer liked the 360, but expressed how they were having difficulties posting to YouTube. So until next time, get out there, keep shooting.